Good morning everyone, it's Brad with Bolo Pickers. Hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. I'm in the back of our bookstore getting ready to ship some orders for eBay and I wanted to show you what we sold. We actually had a pretty good day yesterday. It was a lot of lower end items, but uh, a, a lot of sales. I think it was eight or nine sales. So pretty good day for us. Um, for those of you new to the channel, my wife Angela and I um, are full-time online sellers. Uh, we sell on Amazon FBA eBay and Facebook Marketplace. We also own a local brick and mortar bookstore and we actually do all of our Amazon and eBay stuff out of the back and that's what you're going to see today. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to pick some stuff and I'm spinning around here and uh, this is basically where um, we store all of our stuff as you can see and we store some over here. Uh, we do have a labeling system um, for where stuff is and actually I just just built this um, uh, bubble wrap dispenser yesterday. I was watching Cincinnati Picker on YouTube, who's always fun to watch, and uh, and I saw that he did that up above, and I thought, man, that would free up some space, and that's what we did. So let's get started picking some of these orders today. Um, we have one unpaid item, but uh, here's our photo studio we have no lights up above it actually helps with our pictures i think um not 100 percent sure but uh in my opinion it does help so uh so these are actually labeled this is bs1 so that's bookshelf one and then it goes down the side so this is bs1a and then one so if we're grabbing from there we would grab from this section right here our first order is bs1 d2 so bs1 d2 and it's actually a cd it's kind of tucked up in there this is an ozzy osbourne cd very cool um very very cool cd that i found at goodwill and it's got like a metal top to it um it the discs were in really good condition came with the original tattoos and it was complete and uh, very cool uh, find i paid 99 cents for it and that sold for 12.99 plus free shipping all right on to the next item uh, the next item on the list is a remote we saw a lot of remotes um, this is in bs1 a1 which is funny because we were just talking about that and uh, this remote we find a lot of good remotes at um, goodwill and this remote cost 99 cents and was ten dollars and uh sold for ten dollars and twenty cents with free shipping so let me see if we can get that out of there without pulling everything else out there we go it's already bubble wrapped um we'll throw that in a bubble mailer same with this one we'll throw that in a bubble mailer i'll probably poly bag and seal that uh just to protect it a little bit extra and then uh, we'll ship those off first class that one will go media <laughs> since it's a cd um all right um the next one we have is actually up here you can see it stacked up there this is um Safure suppository applicators so i actually bought these on clearance at meyer which if you're not from the midwest you probably won't recognize that store name but if you are from the midwest and you're a reseller you definitely will know um Meyer is like a super Walmart, basically. They've got grocery, they've got goods. They do a lot of good clearance and for retail arbitrage, um, we do a lot of that. Actually, all of these got sent in to um, the um, Amazon FBA, and then we actually had to remove them because the um, company complained that we were counterfeit, which was crazy because we bought them from Meyer. But anyways, I think we paid like 99 cents a piece for these. And uh, I sold quite a few on Amazon um, before we had to pull them. But I had seven left. I lotted these together. They sold for $24.99 with free shipping. It's probably going to cost us about 5 or $6 a ship. They're kind of heavy, but I don't think it's going to be. Or they're pretty light. I think all together they'll be a little bit heavy. It'll be close to a pound. Um, if it's over a pound, it's going to cost us about $7 to ship it. Maybe a little bit more. It's not going too far, so... Uh, that's a good thing. Uh, Pioneer Woman. Um, BS2E3. Which is here. And they're right here. It's a three pack of these uh, labels. These are mason jar labels. Um, we paid, I think, 99 cents for each one. Um, we tried to sell them on Amazon. They didn't work. So we brought them back to eBay. 
and I just lotted them up to get rid of them. We sold them for $6. <laughs> so after shipping, we'll probably either break even or uh, make just a tiny bit on there. Nothing, nothing, uh, don't buy those. <laughs> that, that would be my advice to you. Um, the next item we have going out is a Case Logic portable CD player case for Disman. This is a really cool item. It's in BS1C5. It's going to be right. Oh, it's going to be back here in the back. So let me, let me shuffle around here. There we go. And then it's poly bagged. And what's really cool, I got to go back and put this back so I don't forget. I've done that before. And that is not fun. Um, <coughs> excuse me. This case logic actually, you plug in right there on the on the outside of it and uh it's a disman thing it kind of goes over your shoulder or around your waist it's really cool the um i paid maybe 25 cents for this at a church sale a few weeks ago it had a disman in it but it wasn't working we tested it and it wasn't working and so i just sold the case um i was a little disappointed the disman didn't work but uh we sold that for 13 dollars uh free shipping it's super light it will go first class all right, shoes are one of my favorite things to sell, and we had one sell last night. BS2C5, which is right here. I already got the thank you label on the back. Let's pull those out. These, I don't know what that was. That was a weird sound. Got a double O. I know what that is. There's a, uh, sounds worse than it is. It's a red dot uh, code keeper. <laughs> for it's like electronic box um so we'll restack that stuff back up in there um and i'll show you these shoes these are reebok crossfit nano uh shoes the bag i put them in obviously wasn't big enough i don't even know why i stuck a label on the end of there that's kind of silly but these were in uh, pretty good condition you can see why i bag stuff um, i don't know if you can see the dirt along there but that's dirt on the outside of the bag um so for the shoes um, like that I like to poly bag them and then ship them that way as well and you can see we've got shoes um, pretty much all through there uh, love selling shoes so being that we own a bookstore we get a lot of books in our books are actually donated in <clears throat> excuse me goodness um, our books are donated into us so we don't pay for any of them I'm not going to run and chase these down because doing it one-handed is really hard, especially the heavier ones. But I'm going to show you on my phone, and I'll actually step over here because it'll be a little easier to see. Let me switch hands. So, sorry about that. It's getting a little jumpy. Um, we sold this lot of 35 Love and Laughter Harlequins uh, for $16.50 plus $7 in shipping. And... Um, we didn't pay anything for these and harlequin romance are actually really hard to sell in the store um so if we can get 50 cents to a dollar out of each one that's what we try to do and then we had a second book order going out and we'll scroll down um, this is called outlaws uh, cowboys and texans it's the same thing it's it's just like a lot of romance novels uh, sold for twelve dollars and they paid 5.98 for shipping so on those there was uh there's 20 of them so yeah we're making uh, about 50 cents a piece after we ship them out which isn't too bad of a deal and then we have one more book lot going out um, but they haven't paid yet um, it's a lot of eight bubble bible study commentaries um, there was no listings for these on ebay but i took a chance anyways put them up ten dollars plus free shipping with media mail it's probably gonna cost us three dollars to ship those out so uh, we're going to make just under a dollar on those, probably about 70 cents a piece on those. So that is everything going out today. Um, surprising that we got that many orders on eBay uh, during the week. Uh, usually we get a lot more on the weekends, but excited to see everything going out. Nothing huge, nothing crazy, nothing real fun to talk about. Uh, but that's what we call bread and butter sales. Sales that continuously sell every day and make you five ten bucks um, here and there it all adds up so um, most of our business is focused on amazon fba but uh, on ebay we're really focusing this year because the margins are better and we really enjoy it so if you like this video uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to us we'd be very grateful for that and uh, we will talk to you guys soon